emergency management services in Aiden may be taking a hit after their nonprofit agency declined to renew their contract with the county. News 12's Chris Young spoke with the director of Pitt County EMS to find out the next steps. He now joins us live outside the Aiden EMS station on West Avenue. And Chris, county leaders are stepping in to make sure this area is covered. Well, Tyler, the Pitt County EMS director tells me they're working right now to hire eight new paramedics so that this station in Aiden can keep the lights on in July. Okay. Pitt County Board of Commissioners approved an addition of eight full-time paramedics to cover the third largest city in Pitt County, Aiden. Pitt County EMS Director Randy Gentry is tasked to hire a team to cover the area starting July 1st. We, we will uh, immediately begin to advertise for those positions and uh, go ahead and go through the uh, interview process, selecting uh, those that uh, will be hired. Gentry says Aiden EMS started as a volunteer station in 1965. Over the years, it became a paid uh, agency uh, staffed by part-time medics. Uh, that would go and uh, work those schedules there uh, for the county. Chief of Aiden EMS Chandler Sutton sent this letter to Pitt County leaders on January 31st, stating it was getting too difficult to maintain a qualified staff able to answer the call to service without significant challenges. It will take uh, those additional uh, paramedics to make the system work. He says two paramedics will work per shift in Aiden. Gentry tells me after filling the positions, they will choose a crew to operate the truck and work around the clock. It may not be the eight uh, new ones that we hire. They'll be put into our system and scheduled appropriately based on skill level and experience. County documents reveal it'll cost nearly $85,000 for the positions for this fiscal year, covered by the current EMS budget. If there are any setbacks, the closest EMS station is in Winterville, followed by the Eastern Pines and Bell Arthur EMS stations. Gentry says he hopes to have the, the paramedics on payroll by May 1st so that they could be trained and fully staffed by the time the contract is up. Live in Aiden, I'm Chris Young with News 12.